I love tennis and I really love backboards. Backboards are the best way to practice. Unfortunately, they can be the worst way to practice as well. A young guy like Victor is going to take a two ounce ball and see if he can just knock the wall down. And when that happens, they're not practicing with a purpose. Also, too, you just drive through the neighborhood and you see some young kid who loves tennis and he's innocently, he or she, they're practicing against the garage door. What happens is they're practicing skill, but they're not practicing form. Now, this is a copy, um, improved copy of what we used in the 80s and 90s called the Tennis Mate. The portable backboard, you can put it in your garage, you can put it in a driveway setting like this, a basement. You can even put it out on your yard. Now, it forces you to have vertical swings. It forces you to hit in a very confined area. The tennis court, remember, is less than 20 degrees wide. So, for example, this would be down the line. This would be cross court. Down the line, cross court, 19.1 degrees. Now, the rebound board, so Victor could go out on the yard, and when the ball comes down on an uneven surface like the grass, now the ball is going to bounce up. So it helps him with an even bounce, but also if he was a beginning player, which now he's not, it would actually slow the ball down because the rebound effect is going to be up here. So let's watch him just hit with the board. Forehands and backhands. He's moving, he's breathing. Okay, hold up. I just grabbed the tennis balls, Victor. So the portable backboard is great for fun, it's great for fitness, it's great for footwork, it's also great for strokes. Now, this is not as easy as it looks, but what he's going to do now is he's going to hit two forehands, two balls, forehand after forehand. Okay, go ahead. Get it started slowly and then pick up the tempo. Short, compact swing. All right, now if you just stop those, so obviously he's put some time on the portable backboard, the great base backboard. Now what he's going to do is show us the backhand with two tennis balls. And then when you miss, you just got to start again. Got one? Okay, go ahead. All right, now I'd love to read about tennis players, and it just goes without saying, every great tennis player spent endless hours on a backboard. Now what Victor's going to do is he's going to hit some serves. So now he's got a tennis ball. So shadow swinging is very important. This right here adds to the practice. Now, for me, if someone is going to take piano lessons, it only makes sense that they have a piano at their house to practice. If someone's going to take tennis lessons, and tennis lessons are going to be expensive, only makes sense to have a portable backboard. If you can build a regular backboard, that's great, but you're still going to get rainy days, so you want to have an indoor backboard. Now what Victor's going to do is he's going to play a set. He's going to hit a serve, and we'll say, okay, play eight ground strokes, forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand. And that would be 15 love, like he's playing Mr. Nobody, Mrs. Nobody. So, Victor, you got a good chance of winning this one. And he's moving, he's breathing, and he loves it. And what we find is the better someone gets, the appetite increases. They want to hit more balls. People love to improve. Okay, with that, typically what happens is we hear the term burnout. It's not really burnout for the most part. With most players, it's frustration factor because they're not getting better. And if you don't practice, you're not going to get better. Now, Victor, if you'd come right over here, hit forehands. I'm going to hit backhands. So what we can do is we can check our checkpoints. We can slow down. I'm going to go like this, hitting one-handed. I'm going to come up. And you stay right over here, Victor. Okay, Victor's back. Turn to the camera, Victor. Smile. Next time, we're going to give Victor a speaking part. Now, I'm going to come up like this. ATA, hold the archway in this position. I'm going to stay sideways. Hand-to-hand -hand forms a line. All right, Victor's going to come up, release that swing from his elbow in this position. So I get to slow down and self-evaluate. And then Victor gets to do the same. All right, now, uh, Jeff Lewis is going to come in, and what they're going to do is they're going to go side to side, up and back. It's great to have a practice partner. Kids want to be around other kids. So Jeff's going to pretend he's a big kid. You're the little kid. Give me the high five. So you're going to go up and back. Jeff's going to go side to side. 
All right, get it going, guys. Oh, don't get lost on us, Victor. We love you, buddy. And just to count, okay, guys, get 100. Focus, eyes on the ball. Keep your eyes down and lift. Tennis is also a lower body sport. So the great base backboard with the great base information, and this will be very powerful to have people improve the game. All right, guys, give each other a high five. Good job. Now Victor's going to hit against two types of backboards. The portable backboard, the great base backboard, and then a regular backboard. Um, but you're going to see the strokes are the same. He's still trying to perfect what we showed him when he was just a beginner. Okay, go ahead. Oh, he's moving, he's breathing. Get that front leg straight as you lift up. Top spin is in. And downward motion created upward motion of the body and racket. Okay. And now, Victor, if you'd hit us some ground strokes against the regular backboard. And again, you got to have the right head work. You got the right attitude. You just practice, practice, practice. Then it's footwork. And then it's going to be the racket and body work. Hit a couple underspin backhands. All right, well done.